Hey YouTube, it's me Nikki Z. Um, I am here to show you guys how I blend and contour um, and highlight my face using only e.l.f. cosmetics. Now I posted on Reddit actually just a step-by-step -step tutorial on a full face using only e.l.f. cosmetics. Um, I, I'm not like saying this to toot my own horn or anything but it, it was really popular and I had gotten quite a few PMs and messages. Um, you know, saying, hey, that's really awesome, I need to try e.l.f. cosmetics, or I had no idea that you could use that for that, or, you know, can you make a video? So, I wanted to go ahead and make a video. I had made one previously, and then I realized I went through it really quickly, um, it wasn't very thorough, and the whole idea of watching a video on YouTube is to learn how to do something. So, I feel like it's pretty unfair if I just, like, upload a video where I'm like, okay, here's this bullshit and it's done, you know, good luck. Um, that would be really, really cruel, and I wanted to show you guys how I did it, so therefore it needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm getting my brushes ready right now, um, I'm wiping them off, and I have them good to go. We're going to start, um, I always start my face no matter what. You don't see this in a lot of my tutorials, um, but I do love this stuff. It's the Hyaluronic Advanced Skin Repair Serum. 60% hyaluronic, 20% matrixyl, 3000, and vitamin C. I'm going to put that on my face because my skin loves me when I do, and I have very, very misbehaving skin. So this right here is like a very healthy drink for my face. Oh, it feels so good. Anyways, oh, vitamin C, huh? instant awesome. Um, what I'm going to be using for highlight and contour, I'm actually going to use the e.l.f. moisturizing stick in ivory, and I'm going to use the... Whoop, that's caramel. Uh, where's it at? I have a foundation here in cocoa. All right. That's not a beer, by the way. That's just a really cheap generic soda. Now, if you do not have the products, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a little list and show you guys, you know, what works well. Um, if you do not have the shade Porcelain in the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation, Porcelain is just a very pale, like, the whitest foundation I've ever personally tried. Um, other than, like, Clown White, of course. If you do not have this, you can use... Ivory, which is from the Moisturizing Foundation Stick. That is what I'm using, just for the tutorial. Oh, I have the hiccups. And if you do not have either of those, you can actually use the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. It is super, super light. That works for highlight as well. Um, if you're looking for like a powder highlight, the baked highlighters are amazing. And yeah, I am such a sucker for them. This is in Blush Gems, which is so freaking pretty. Quick swatch. Yeah, super freaking pretty. Oh my God. And then I have Moonlight Pearl. Yeah, that's Moonlight Pearl. Very, very pretty. I actually prefer these over um, the Benefit What's Up. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff. If you're looking for trying, I guess, like a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, try one of these. Just if you don't want to spend like 20 plus bucks, just $3, guys. It's not bad, and it's amazing. Um, so those are products you can use as well. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my highlights. So I'm going to take Ivory, and I'm actually going to just like swoop it onto my face. I'm going to put it on my chin, my nose, my cupid's bow. I'm going to put it on each side of my lip because I'm going to be blending that outwards. A little bit more on my chin. I have zits right here and that's, yeah, acne, no fun. Um, I'm going to put it on my forehead. Ah. Try to make that touch. Okay, there's that. <laughs> 
I'm going to go ahead and apply it underneath my eyes and swoop it all the way up close to my hairline. I always put it right here underneath my cheekbones, like in between my jawline and where I apply um, like a contour just because I have a neat face shape and I like to keep my Native American face shape. So I'm going to go ahead and use the shade. Um, I usually use cocoa, but today I'm going to be using caramel. It's a little bit darker than my skin. Uh, just to show you guys cocoa real quick. I use this for the tutorial on Reddit that I received a lot of um, feedback from. So this is cocoa. It's beautiful. These are all matte, by the way. So that's amazing. They're super blendable. And I'm going to be using caramel for the video tutorial. What I'm going to do is take that same brush that I used um, from another tutorial. Let me clean it up real quick. This is actually um, the Elf Angled Foundation Brush. I've used this in a few of my toots. It's a really, really nice $3 brush. I use it for quite a few different things. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of caramel. I'm going to put it right underneath my cheeks. Along my jawline. And because I have um, a kind of fun shaped chin, I'm going to put a little bit right here and a little bit right here. Just to kind of help keep my um, interesting Native American face. Mm -hmm. So apply a little bit right here above that highlight going towards um, my hairline and apply just a little tad smidgen on my nose and along my hairline of course Alright, so you should be ready to blend. Um, for the blending, I'm going to go ahead and start out with a smaller brush. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be blending out all of my um, highlight first, specifically because I don't want to do a dark shade and then blend it um, with a lighter shade. I'm going to start with a lighter shade. The idea is to bring it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get crazy, start blending. Cool thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Like that's the whole idea of blending. You can blend it however you want. If you make a mistake, you can always fix it. Just take a brush and blend it. Pretty awesome stuff. looks pretty natural. Um, I'm going to get kind of close so you guys can see my pores, hopefully. Um, this foundation is amazing. I look shiny right now because um, I haven't buffed it all in yet and I haven't applied a setting powder, but here's, yeah, where no product is, you can see my pores. I mean, it looks natural, which I really like, um, but it covers up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and continue blending.
wish I could fast forward this, but I don't have the right editing software. I'm looking for some today though, so let's keep our fingers crossed. So that way you guys don't have to sit through extremely boring stuff if you don't want to. But I do want you guys to see how I do everything. Now with a highlight and contour, um, it's best to use a highlight shade that's about four shades lighter than your natural skin tone, and it's the same for a contour, except for four shades darker than your skin tone. Uh, so that way you don't look like a clown. Um, I've noticed quite a few pictures of Kim Kardashian, and I, I'm not saying this because I'm jealous at all, but sometimes her face, like, it just looks... It just looks wrong, and it's because they use such a light contour, or sorry, a light highlight on her face, and it just kind of has like a, a smoky, smoky pale look, like an ashy look. And I mean, that's cool. It works really well for high flash photography, but I don't really like it. Um, I mean, personally, it's just a personal opinion. Um, like I said, I'm sure a lot of people think, you know, that, that look is really awesome, and, you know, kudos to you. Um, it's not something that I prefer myself, so it, I wouldn't do it on myself. I feel like, you know, having such a bold contour and highlight on your face is obviously for the stage, um, like for certain kinds of lighting. You know, like if you work at a theater, obviously that's meant to like enhance certain aspects of your face because the lighting is usually dim and harsh. So it's not something I would wear out outside. Okay, so I've pretty much blended out all of the light shade that I applied to my face. Now we're going to get crazy and uh, blend out that contour shade. Now for that, I'm going to be using, um, actually this is a no-name brand. It looks like a Real Techniques brush, but it's actually not, and it feels the exact same, and it's amazing. Um, it's just like a little domed brush. This is going to be what I'm going to use to blend out that contour shade. Now when you do this, don't forget to pull the product down a bit. Um, if you just obviously like contour your jawbone and you leave it, it's going to look kind of silly. Just saying. It'll look a lot more realistic if you just bring it down a bit. So far this is how it looks. Um, you can obviously see that there's still some blending action that needs to happen. Um, I just take this brush to kind of help smudge it where it needs to go and then I will use another brush to kind of even it out a bit and go for like kind of a natural smooth contour and highlight. Now, the reason why I use this brush, not only is it domed, but it's very dense. Um, so I can actually pull the product everywhere I need it to go, which is a huge plus. Soft brushes are good, but sometimes you just need a little bit of a, 
a stern brush, stern and stubborn. You know, just so you can get your point across. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a different brush. This is going to be the e.l.f. powder brush, it's a flat top brush. And this is where I blend everything together, like so. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a pretty deep contour here, it's pretty thick looking. I take this brush, I blend it up into that highlight and bam, huge difference. It's okay to take that contour shade and blend it upwards a bit into the lighter shade, that's how it's gonna look more natural. So far, almost finished. Hey, awesome. All right, so here is the finished face for the most part. We're gonna go ahead and put a setting powder on. Um, for that, I use the e.l.f. Mineral Booster and Tinted. When I'm really, really pale, I do not use this. The reason being um, is it is tinted and it makes me a little bit darker than what I am. I will actually use the corrective yellow in either the booster or the HD powder from e.l.f. But since I have a little bit of color, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tinted Mineral Booster as it's going to lightly tint my face and make it kind of glow and keep my makeup on um, in place all day. It's going to be buffed out, so it's going to look so natural on my face when I am finished. Yeah, check that out. It's... You know, a lot of people have complimented my complexion. You guys have seen my complexion before I applied all this makeup, and it's nothing to compliment. Um, I have some discoloration, not a lot actually, anymore, because I used that hyaluronic serum, and it's lightened my skin where it needed to be lightened, which is so cool. But I have acne. Um, my nose is kind of flaky and dry right now, which is why I use that hyaluronic acid serum as a moisturizer before I apply anything else. And that um, primer by Elf because it actually glides right over flaky skin. So if you have like acne scars or scabs or just flaky, dry, irritated skin, that mineral primer or the mineral infused primer actually will make your makeup glide right over it and make it less noticeable, which is really cool. Um, I don't have a lot of issues with makeup caking in certain areas, you know, like acne, scabs, scars, um, just bumpy skin or flaky skin. So here is the finished face. Um, from here, what I generally do is sometimes I use like a highlighter, uh, like just a sparkly one, you know, just to attract a little bit of light. Now for that, the e.l.f. cosmetics that I use are the baked highlighters, which are amazing, uh, amazing. I seriously use these all over my face. I use them more than I use my skin finishes from MAC. So, yeah. Actually, the shade Adored is very, very similar to Blush Gems by e.l.f. So if you are looking for a dupe, because Adored is discontinued, yeah, Blush Gems is where it's at. It's a really, really nice dupe. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that Blush Gem shade. And I only apply the highlighter um, underneath my eyes, all the way up to my hairline, a little bit on my nose, chin, forehead. So that way, um, and it's not glittery at all, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has a really, really nice soft skin finish um, with a little bit of shimmer 
no chunky glitter, which is amazing. Um, from here on out, I do my brows, I apply blush, I do my eyeshadow, and then I do my lipstick. Um, I hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful. I'm going to make one right after this. It's going to be for my eyebrows. So I'm going to show you guys from here on what I do to get um, a full face look by e.l.f. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have any questions about any of the products, feel free to message me. I will do my best to help you out and do what I can. If you need swatches, I will give you swatches. Um, my blog has a lot of these products too. So you can check that out at allaboutyoureyeslipsface.blogspot.com. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. And if you want to see how to do your eyebrows, keep watching for newer videos. Thank you and have a great day.